polygons. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn to visualize, name, and describe polygons with five or more sides. Let's begin. Welcome to my living room. Did you know that we are living in a world full of shapes or polygons? For example, in my living room, we can see different objects that represent different polygons. Can you name the polygons that you see? But wait, do you know what polygon means? Polygon is a close figure formed by three or more straight line segments. For example, this figure has one, two, three, and four sides or line segments. Line segments are straight lines that has two endpoints. Let's name the endpoints as A, B, C, and D. This means that this polygon has line segments AB, BD, CD, and AC, which can also be called as the sides of the polygon. Now, when two line segments meet at a certain point, they form an angle. Here, this polygon has angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. And the points where line segments meet are called vertices. In this polygon, it has vertex A, vertex B, vertex C, and vertex D. Now, let's take a look at these two figures. Can you tell me which one is the polygon and which one is not? Well, the first figure is not a polygon since it is an open figure. While the second one is a polygon since it is a closed figure with straight line segments. Let's have another one. Which one do you think is a polygon and which one is not? The first figure is not a polygon since it has curved line segments. While the second one is a polygon since it is a closed figure with straight line segments. Now remember that the polygon is named according to the number of its sides or line segments. Now let's explore the objects that we saw in the living room earlier. First up, we have here a piece of pizza and it has three sides or three line segments. And this polygon is called triangle. A triangle has three sides and three angles. Here are other examples of triangles. Next one. We have here a drawer. This object forms a polygon with four sides. And it is called a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. Here are other examples of quadrilateral. Other quadrilaterals are square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid, and many more. Let's go to the next one. We have a diamond. We can form a five-sided polygon from this diamond. And we call this as pentagon. A pentagon has five sides and five angles. Here are other examples of pentagon. Let's go to the next one. We have here a clock. This clock has six sides. And a polygon with six sides is called hexagon. Hexagon is a polygon with six sides and six angles. Now, here are other examples of hexagon. Moving on, we have here a mirror. This one has seven sides. And a polygon with seven sides is called heptagon. Heptagon has seven sides and seven angles. Now, here are other examples of heptagon. Perfect. Now, let's go to the next one. We have a window. 
This window has eight sides. And a polygon with eight sides is called octagon. Again, octagon has eight sides and eight angles. Here are other examples of octagon. Next up, we have here a floor mat. This object has nine sides. And a polygon with nine sides is called nonagon. Nonagon has nine sides and nine angles. Here are other examples of nonagon. Another object is a star. This star has ten sides. And a polygon with 10 sides is called decagon. A decagon has 10 sides and 10 angles. Now here are other examples of decagon. Next one, we have here a coin. This coin has 11 sides. Let's count. There you go. Now, a polygon with 11 sides is called undecagon. Undecagon has 11 sides and 11 angles. Now, here are other examples of undecagon. On to the last one. This object has 12 sides. Now, a polygon with 12 sides is called the decagon. The decagon has 12 sides and 12 angles. Now, here are other examples of the decagon. Wonderful job, students! You made it this far. Now, here are the things that you learned today.